Whack 100 violated FBG Butter and crashed out on J Prince and J Prince Jr. Wack said he was going to run into FBG Butter, and when he eventually did run into him, he said he told him to come in the area he was at. But FBG Butter said he ain't going nowhere near Wack. I think he know Wack looks at him as a rat, and that put fear in him being around Wack and his crew due to the fact Wack exposed his rats on the regular. He refused to address Wack 100, so Wack did not give up. He immediately started calling FBG Butter's name, and eventually he came in. They ended up taking the pick, and Wack says he didn't know exactly who he was, and things didn't turn out like FBG Butter expected. They, they ended up taking pics or whatever, but now Jay Prince and the Prince family and rap -A -Lot Records had a dude there. He had a rap -A -Lot chain. He heard Wack was in the building and didn't want to enter because he knew that him and Jay Prince really didn't get along. But obviously, why he didn't go in that building, building is because it could have got tricky for him. Wack and Jay Prince and Jay Prince Jr. been beefing for a long time. Last week, when Mason Cameron mentioned Jay Prince, they said that he don't go at the West Coast and he ain't had that same energy for Wack. But this is all speculations. This is what the internet saying. They want to know why Jay Prince didn't have that same energy for Top Dog and Kendrick Lamar after Kendrick destroyed Drake. Wack 100 and Jay Prince, they've been beefing for some years, but I wonder if they'll ever see each other face to face, man. Let's see how that goes when they do. But if you made it this far in the video, make sure you hitting that like button. Subscribe if you new. Get in that comment section and let me know what y'all think about this whole whack and J Prince feud. It's Stingy K T V, man, and let's get into it. Kiddo Curry. He like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You kiddo, yeah, yeah. That's you know, that's P. I was like, okay, cool. But I didn't see Adam and nothing even mentioned to me that this was the Yeah, cause the other played outside with us. He didn't even come in there. The one with the rap a lot change. Cause they thought, listen. G Wayne, they thought we was on some. They thought I was gonna get on. Some yeah, that nigga stayed outside. Yeah, they thought I was gonna get on. Some but I, I really didn't know. Yeah, so I can't. I didn't know the name. I can't remember his name though. He said his name. I'm about to catch backlash about that. But that's on me for not knowing. See, with me, Jay Prince got the popularity vote. With Cam and uh, Mace, he don't got the popularity vote. And 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 Mace is arrogant. Cam is arrogant. So you started it, what you going to do? And they didn't say what they said, so let's see where it go. Yeah, if I know Jay Prince, he going to get on the phone and want to have a conversation. That's all he do. He just like to and make it look like that's why I wasn't doing that with him. He tried to do the same shit. Nah, we ain't doing that because that's what you do. And then you try to make it look like, you know, you to this and you to that. We ain't doing that. Facts. Hey, did you hear the audio, though? The reference you. Cam and Mace reference you. Reference your little you had with Jay Prince and like shit. He probably, they probably talked about me, NBA. They probably talked about why you ain't say nothing to top dog them. You know what I'm mean? saying? I can only imagine. That's definitely what they said. That's definitely what they said, bro. Can anybody play audio on here? Big Chuck got put on punishment. His girl said she ain't moving back in until he stay off clubhouse. So he, he can't do it. But see, even go at this, like what you tripping over? You tripping over a fighter, right? I'm pretty sure all Mason them and did was did their little commentary on it. All they said was the every fucking sports commentator been saying that secure Stevenson his fights is boring. That's just the truth. Everybody feel the same way. And then after his last fight, you know, all them people was walking out before the fight was over. So after the fight, everybody was like, his fights is boring. Don't like to go see Shakur Stevenson fight. Boom. Cam and Mace did they little daily sports commentary, which they supposed to do because they're a sports show. They're a sports show, Jay Prince. That's what they supposed to do. They supposed to commentate on sports. Once they did that, Shakur got in his feelings. He started talking crazy about Cam and Mace. Boom. You know Cam and Mace like what you just said, Wack. Them yeah, they not going for that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> really arrogant niggas, bro, and they got Them slick lives. For real. Facts. So they said what they said. Shakur said what he said. And now Jay Prince put up this post yesterday. And, you know, 
did the little yeah, always yeah, try to do the look about I handle all his outside business too and right. all that stuff. Right, all his fake Michael Corleone type shit. You know what I'm that saying? That nigga that nigga made yeah. Nigga, we don't got no big home. <laughs> oh God. Yo, he picked the right two. What he don't know is Cam let Mace control it. So that means <laughs> he got the right listed. He had the popularity vote over me. What up, what up, what up? But he ain't got that over them niggas right there. No, what's out. the word, folks? Nah, not at all. Not nah. at all. I want to see, because New York was siding with OJ Prince. I want to see what New York got to say about it. But see, they brought that up too. Mace was saying basically like, okay, he was saying about how Jay Prince tried to call out New York, you know, when that change happened and yeah. all that. And he was like, that ain't really go over too well for Jay Prince. Then he brought up you. Mace was like, you trying to pick and choose, you know what I'm saying? You ain't say the whack 100 when he was at you, you know what I'm saying? And then Cam was like, Cam kind of created corrected him a little bit and was like well he did respond to whack but he was like cam was like the shit said to him i ain't even gonna repeat that you know what i'm saying he was like whack violated that and um ain't no really coming back for that type basically like he could never be cool after that type the way you violated that you know what i'm saying i don't know why he went he must have forgot who them two that mace is the asshole of assholes He's going to make you, and, and Cam don't get Yeah, nah, Cam don't. They, they gave him a good 10 minutes. They gave him a little, like, you know, like a little warning <laughs> shot. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to see what Jay Prince going to come back and say. If Jay Prince respond to this shit and keep this shit up, then he's going to flame it up, bro. Hey, man, I appreciate everybody rocking out with me. Make sure y'all hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. We reached 50 likes, man. Let's push it up to 100. Appreciate y'all for the 4,500 subscribers. Appreciate y'all, man. I wouldn't be able to do it without y'all. But, man, don't forget to hit that like button and get in that comment section, though, man. And let's talk about it. Yeah, all I know is this. Um, he's showing the signs. See, he used to get away with this shit back in the day. Because people would get on the phone and say, hey, man, hey, man, hey, man. No. This ain't Mace them of the early 90s. This ain't them. Niggas ain't getting on the phone saying shit. Them niggas did they little sports shit. They wasn't disrespectful. It was what it was. And you tried to get on there and say, and I handle all this outside business, too. Like them niggas was supposed to tuck their tail. Yeah, nah, they ain't going for that. Mace, Mace said that shit too. Mace was like, I used to have some type of respect for you, but now I don't have no type of respect for you at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, you 60 years old trying to push this, trying to trying to pull this little street shit on niggas. Like, niggas is little niggas. Niggas is not little niggas, bro. You got to understand that shit. Them niggas, when it come to they voice, they voice is way bigger That's than yours, Jake. Bro, and here go the thing for a nigga who would have been Rico, who would have been popped with. 50 keys and all kind of shit and this shit going on down there still ongoing investigations this nigga real loose with his mouth with this type of shit bro why do you think Jay Prince feels he could speak on everybody's business except the west coast nah he ain't gonna fuck with that no I know he ain't I know he don't speak up on west coast business <laughs> he ain't gonna wow. fuck with that but what makes our politics different from all these other coasts that he's willing to speak up? It's um, been robbed five times out here. Okay. There it's a fact. And he got to call niggas, call, he can call us, call Big U, call the Blackstones, you know, to try to, you know what I'm saying? Okay. He know, he know, you got to remember, they can skate around that South because you know, the GD or the BD, whatever one they associate with, you know, they got their business over there. That shit don't work over here. We don't give a fuck about none of that kind of shit over here. Niggas is crippling and blood and south side and power road and, and just the basic hustlers. So we got some real hustler niggas don't fall up on a no flag that's going to get with the shit. Right? So he, he know that shit. You can't make them call. He tried to make a call on me. Out there, and the homie said, I hear you. He said, let me tell you how I met Wack on the level three yard, 1996. I was two weeks to the house. 
Nigga owed me a debt, wasn't paying me. I was finna go blast it. He said, gee, homie, I can't let you do that. And he took that for me. He said, so if you calling me about my homeboy, nigga, I know I'm from company from Bacoima, but this what you better know, nigga, this Pond Rope. And got that nigga got off that jack. And then little niggas, he got represent rap a lot West or whatever. He called it him, they calling me, nigga called, what you wants to do, whack? He don't understand the part that I told him, like, bro, stop playing on that phone before I start playing with your real life. I plan on that phone, bro. I plan on that phone. None, yeah, of, them, none of them niggas I, in this bloodline outside of his brother is that. His kids ain't that, and they some good little dudes. You know what I'm saying? Especially that one Jaws, Jaws Prince and the little lights, you know, good little dude. They had on their business, don't fuck with nobody, none of that shit. Right, the other nigga a little weird. He got rape cases, all kind of weird shit. He be trying to play tough, and he ain't tough. You know what I'm saying? But but he need to really kick back, bro, because that Cam and uh, and, and Mace, they gonna give him the attention he's looking for. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, I and noticed York, his, um, I noticed that rap a lot. West, he tried to start that label, and that shit just disappeared. Ain't no, he ain't even a rap a lot south. Yeah, that shit dead right now. Dead. So, but I tell you what, he got the right to, and New York gonna stand with them niggas. They ain't going for none of that. That ain't no hocus four fifth shit going on. With you that. see how quick them niggas responded, bro? That shit happened yesterday evening. Them niggas did that shit first thing this morning. That shit dropped like nine o'clock in the morning. The first ever Equinox EV gives you the advanced safety features and the technology you want at a price you'll love. When you're ready to go EV, Chevy's got you. But it make him look so bad, it make Jay Prince look like he, he select the politicking because nigga, you always speak up for Drake whenever Drake got some shit going on. When Drake had the shit going on with Diddy, you remember Jay Prince put out that little mm -hmm. notice he did. Anytime Drake got issues, he's stepping up. But with this Kendrick shit, this shit been quiet as a church oh, mouse. Goes. This nigga ain't said nothing. Goes this from them talking about his fights is boring? This is where this shit Yes, is bro. This, this, shit this came from them giving commentary off of a fucking boxing match, bro, which they do on their show, bro. The nigga Shakur been on their show before. So I, I don't I don't understand what they think going on. These niggas know how Cam and Mace get up, bro. saying that. This shit nasty. This shit nasty. Man, fuck Jay Prince. He out of touch. Yeah, he definitely out of touch, bro. He definitely out of touch. This nigga think this shit still 1989, 1998, shit like that. Do that nigga even have any artists? Nah, you know, he he into the boxing, I guess. I mean, you, you could say they got finesse two times, but, you know, finesse two times losing, losing his steam and shit. Nah, Jay Prince, Jay, Jay Prince, he don't even fuck with the music no more. He left that shit to his sons and shit. That nigga just try to focus on the boxing and shit. So like rap a lot, yeah. nah, that nigga ain't doing shit. Finesse ain't been around them niggas. I don't know how long. Franklin, you sound like you from Texas. You from Texas, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm down here in Houston right now. Got you, got you.